In this video, we're going to talk about inferring properties of a polynomial function from its graph. Okay, so if you've watched some of the earlier videos, uh, we can recall a few things. If you have an even degreed function, it's going to have in behavior that either looks like this or looks like this. Okay, and that's with a, this is with a positive coefficient to lead, and this was a negative coefficient to lead. The odd degree will look like this or like this, okay, and this is with a positive leading coefficient, and this is with a negative leading coefficient. Okay, we can recall also that the degree of the function is at least the number of x-intercepts, okay, at least the number of x-intercepts. It can have more, the degree can be higher than the number of x-intercepts because sometimes you bounce off the graph instead of actually crossing the graph. You'll hit it and then bounce off. So it is possible to have a, a degree higher than the number of x-intercepts, but you'll at least have the same as the number of the, de the degree. Um, extrema are, are maximum minimums. You know, they're, they're places like these or these on the graph, okay? And also one other thing, a function of degree n has at most n minus one extrema. So if they are x extrema, then the degree must be at least x plus 1. So it's going to be 1 more than the amount of extrema at least. Okay, so let's do a few problems looking at this. Okay, so our first one, we've got this function and it asks us some questions. So over what interval is the function decreasing? Choose all that will apply. Okay, so decreasing means as I move from left to right, the function is going down. So I'm moving this direction and as I'm moving that direction, I want to choose all the times that the function is going down and not up. Okay, so it looks like from here to here is 1. Okay, so that is from, on the x-axis, that's from negative 5 to negative 2. As I move this direction, the function is falling. So that's decreasing. So negative 5 to negative 2. Okay, and then it goes up. I don't want this part, but then at 2... It starts decreasing again until it gets to 5, okay? So from 2 to 5, it's decreasing. And then as I move over past 5, it starts increasing again until it gets to 8. And then it decreases, and we assume by the arrow it's going to keep decreasing forever. So the further I move out here, way past the edge of my graph, I'm still going to be going down. So I'm, I'm, going, I'm decreasing from 8 all the way to infinity, okay? At which x values does the function have a local minima? If there is more than one value, separate them with a comma. So there's two. These two right here, these are local minimas, okay? And they're asking for the x value that goes with them, okay? So the at x equals negative 2, we have a, a minima. And at x equals positive 2, we... Oh, not positive, that's a maxima. At uh, 5, we have a minima. So x is equal to negative 2 and 5 are our minima, okay? If you were to ask the maxima, it would occur right here at x equals negative 5, another one at 2, and another one at 8, okay? What is the sign of the function's leading coefficient, okay? Well, since the end behavior is this, right, you're going down over here and down over here, we know that it's even, and we know that it is negative Okay, if it was even positive, it would go, it'd be going up both directions, but this is even negative. So the sign of the of the function's leading coefficient is negative. Okay. Which of the following is a possibility for the degree of the function? Choose all that apply. Okay, so remember what we said a minute ago. That your degree is going to be at least the number of intercepts or more, and it's also going to be at least uh, are at most uh, the number of extrema. So if the degree is, so it has to have less by one than the, uh, the number of extrema. Okay, so let's take a look at this. First of all, we have the, uh, the number of x-intercepts is one, two, three, four. Okay, so we have, we have four x-intercepts. So it's going to be at least 4, okay, and then if you look at 
the if you look at the extrema we have one two three four five okay okay so since there are five extrema there has to be at least uh, this function has to be at least degree six or more okay so we know it's got to at least have degree four because of the number of x-intercepts we know it's got to be at least six because there's going to be one at least one more than the number of extrema one two three four five okay and we also know it's got to be even so the two possibilities for this are six and eight okay let's take a look at the next one over which intervals is the function increasing? Choose all that apply. Okay, so this thing is, as we start over here from the left, we're assuming this arrow down. It, remember, it's going down, but it's also going left. So, so the farther left we go, it's still going down as we go this way. Um, so as we move to the right, it's increasing. Okay, the function's increasing, increasing, until we can finally see it on our graph, and it's increasing. So it's increasing from negative infinity all the way to this top point, this maximum which is 3. So from negative infinity to 3. And then it's again increasing from this 3 to this 7. So 3 to 7. Okay. Uh, what is the sign of the function's leading coefficient? Okay, so it is going to be, this is going to be an even power because it's going down on both sides, just like the last one. Okay, and it's going to be negative. Okay, so this is a negative even power. That's what does this type of thing. So the sine, um, oh, I skipped one. The sine is going to be uh, negative. Okay, um, I skipped this one, so let's do that one. If, which x values does the function have a local maxima? Um, if there's more than one, separate them with comma. So that's going to be right here and right here. So that's x equals 3 and x equals 7. Okay, and which is the poss which of the following is a possibility for the degree of the function? Okay, so it's got to be even. Okay, so we know that from from in behavior, it's got to be even. Okay, so that that rules out that rules out five, seven, and nine. Okay, we have two x-intercepts, so it's got to be more than two. Okay, it's got to be at least two, maybe more, and we have one, two, three, uh, local maxima, local minima. Okay, one, two, three, and it's got to be more than that. So this at least has to be degree four, okay? So it could be degree four, degree six, or degree eight. Okay, let's look at this last one. Over which intervals is the function decreasing? Choose all that apply. Okay, so it's going down here as I move left to right. Oops, as I move left to right, this thing is going down. Okay, so from negative infinity all the way to negative 7. Negative infinity to negative 7. That's this right here, negative 7. It's increasing, then it starts decreasing at negative 2 all the way to 4. So from negative 2 to 4. And then it starts decreasing again from 8, and it keeps decreasing forever. Okay, at which x values does the function have a local minima? Okay, here and here. Okay, that's x equals negative 7 and x equals 4. Okay, and what is the sign of the function's leading coefficient? Okay, so this, this looks like this. Okay, so this is an odd function and it's negative. Okay, if it was positive, it would go the other way. So recall what we said at the beginning of the video. If it's an odd degree, it looks like one of these two. This is if it's a positive out front, and this is if it's a negative out front. So this is going to be negative. Okay, and then for the possibility of degree, okay, so we know that we have one, two, three x-intercepts. Um, so it's got to be more than that. We know that we have to be odd because of the in behavior. Okay, so this is out, this is out, and this is out. Okay, so it's got to be at least one, two, three, and now the number of um, the number of, of minimums, maximums is one, two, three, four. So it's got to be more than that as well. Okay, so it could be five, seven, or nine. Okay, let's do one last one. So this one it says, 
what uh, intervals is it increasing? Okay, so it's going up right here. That's from 5 to, or excuse me, that's from negative 8 to negative 5. Negative 8 to negative 5. And then again from 1 to 3. Uh, negative 1 to 3. And then again from 7 to 9. Okay. What x values do you have a local maximum? Okay, that would be here and here and here. So that's x equals negative 6. No. No, that's negative 5. Negative 5, negative 1, 7. Okay, what is the sign of the function's leading coefficient? Okay, well, the in behavior looks like this. Okay, so that is going to be odd, odd powered, and negative. So the sign of the leading coefficient is negative. Okay, so we know it's odd power, so they're asking us what's the degree of the function. We can, we can get rid of all the even ones. Okay, and let's see, we have... How many x-intercepts? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's got to be at least five. Uh, the degree's got to be at least five in order to have five x-intercepts. However, this is bouncing off the x-axis, so that's got to that's got to have a degree more than one. So it's probably going to be. We can assume it's more than five, but we can also assume it's more than five because we can look at the minimum maximum. One, two, three, four. 5, 6. It's got to be more than 6. So that takes out 5, and that leaves 7 and 9.